Hey there, it's another great weekend here in New York. The weather is a bit chilly today, but it's definitely gonna warm up for the rest of the week. So I hope you have a lot of really great plants, you know, to really enjoy the great outdoors. Today, it's 20 something degrees. It's so cold. So um, I decided to make a fish broth, as known as fish soup <laughs> with snapper. And I really hope you enjoy this recipe. And you know, it's not like the traditional ingredients that you would probably add like okra and spinach. It's just whatever I had in my refrigerator. That's what I decided to use to make this. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll taste it for you afterwards. Hopefully you can see how yummy it is. Thank you so much to my subscribers and supporters out there. I really appreciate you taking a look at my channel and I love doing these vlogs for you. Like, share and subscribe. And until the next vlog, take care. To make my snapper fish broth, the first thing I do is cut up about one and a half onion. So this was a half that I had left, so I'm just gonna give that a fine dice. Next, I'm gonna add in some garlic and about four weary weary peppers, tiny bit of salt to use it as an abrasive, and then I'm just gonna pound it. So this is what my garlic looks like all nice and pounded with my weary peppers. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to add in a nice handful of dried thyme and I'm going to pound that as well. Give it a nice pound, let all of the thyme release its natural oils and give it a good mix. Next I have ginger and I'm just going to give it a nice little slicing and dice it up into tiny pieces as tiny as possible two tomatoes that I'm just gonna cut into quarters and then halves I have a celery stalk that I'm gonna dice up and I'm just going to kind of score straight down and make it manageable you know pieces And just kind of dissect fine. All right, all set with the celery. I love scallions, so I'm just going to put a lot of scallions into this, but totally your preference. And I'm actually going to cut them up into big chunks because I just love the texture of scallions in a soup. So kind of like that and just set that aside. This I'm gonna add in towards the end though because um, you don't want your scallions to get all mushy. You kind of want them to still have a little bit of a bite in them. I have some lovely little sweet red peppers and totally your preference if you want to add these or not. It's just some ingredients that I had in my refrigerator and I kind of want to, you know, use as much as I can to make my soup um, colorful and healthy. So I'm just going to give these a chop, get rid of these seeds inside and then just start on chopping these. So I'm just going to chop mine in half and then half again. They're small enough that that's perfect. Okay, so I started cutting up some of my plant in already, but this is another one. I'm just going to show you how to cut a plant in. So you basically score on the ends just like this where it meets the corners and the edges and you go straight down like that. And then you can easily take your hand and kind of pull it apart, almost like a banana. And this pulls apart very easily. Some of them are a little bit more complex, but this is perfect. And then once I'm done with that, I just kind of chop up my plantain into little bite-sized pieces like this. You can make it round, you can make it any shape you want. Just make sure that they're all about the same size so they cook evenly. So I have a sweet potato that I already peeled and I'm just gonna cut it into dices about um, even sizes so that again, they all cook evenly. So I think I'm gonna cut it the way I cut the plantain. So even pieces just like that. Cutting board starting to fill up, which means there's lots of ingredients going into this. Next, I peeled a potato, so same thing. I'm just going to dice it up into 
little pieces that are bite size and add that in as well with all of these yummy veggies. The soup is gonna taste amazing. So my pan is on. I've got some olive oil in here. I'm just gonna add a little bit more into that and give it a good heat. So the first thing I'm gonna add once my oil is nice and heated is my onions. As usual, I like to salt my onions. I think layering the seasonings is always a good idea. So this gives it a nice stir. It's a nice big pot for a fish broth and it's gonna cook so well in here. And the cast iron uh, kind of insulates the heat and keeps everything cooking all evenly. And to my onions, I'm just gonna add in my garlic and weary pepper and thyme mixture. And let that cook for about a minute. Mm, it smells so good. goes my ginger not a lot of ginger it's totally up to you what your preference is if you prefer more ginger then you can add it uh, my kids don't love it so okay so I'm gonna add my tomatoes into here and that's gonna give it a little bit of moisture without me having to add water so that these ingredients can cook well and with that I'm also gonna add this celery I think celery base really gives the soup a nice flavor. So I'm just gonna layer with a tiny bit of salt to get a nice little mix. It smells so heavenly right now. This is starting to look so good and smell even better. Okay, now that these ingredients are all in here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in all of my vegetables, except for the uh, peppers. I'm just gonna add in all the harder vegetables, like the potatoes and the plantain, and I'm just gonna let them saute a little bit to absorb some of the flavor of all of these seasonings here. And about five minutes or so, I'll give it a couple of stirs, and then I'm gonna add some water into this and a little bit of salt. Just give it a nice little stir. And again, this pot is like perfect for cooking all of these uh, soups. It just holds the heat so well. There you go. I'm gonna place the pieces of fish right along the top of these vegetables, packing them in. A lot of it is big pieces of bone that I couldn't cut, but we'll be fine cooking it. The soup. I'm going to throw these peppers in. These red peppers. I already added four cups of water. This is another four, so a total of about eight cups of water to cook this down. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a stir. Oops. <laughs> Give it a little bit of stir to get some of the ingredients up there. Gentle, just kind of push it around a little. And I'm so excited to taste it. And I'm just gonna cover this down and cook this for about 20 minutes on a medium heat. Add salt for flavor after. Okay, let's see what's going on in here. Looking real good. I'm gonna lower my uh, heat for to a simmer for the next five minutes or so. And then I'll check this for salt and we have a perfect soup brewing. Just gonna drop my scallions into here and let the scallions steam for about two minutes. 
and we'll be off. That nice pepper, can't wait to break into that. And we'll go try this yummy fish broth. Look at how amazing this bowl of fish broth looks. So I'm gonna try this so that you can see how yummy it is. It's really hot. Mm. So yummy. <clears throat> I can taste the pepper, the thyme, perfectly salted. I've got some uh, habanero peppers, some nice cherry peppers in here also. It's so good. Thanks for watching. Again, like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below if you tried this recipe or any of my recipes for that matter. Take care.